Hello fellow teachers. I've decided to make this short video to help you uh, see how to set up a multiple choice quiz within Schoology. And I think this has been a, a great tool that I've used uh, these past few semesters in Schoology. I give the, uh, the kids a quiz um, after reading assignments and a lot of times just at the start of almost every class just to, you know, whether for a grade or not, just to get them reviewing the material very quickly and getting down to business right when the bell rings. So I'm going to take you through this step by step and my advice would be is to maybe like watch this video on an iPad and then have your computer separate so you can uh, work along with it or just just have this video playing in a browser and then each step along the way stop and do what I'm doing yourself. Okay. So step number one is go to courses and select a course. So I'm going to select theology section one. Okay. Second step, I'm going to go over here to the course materials page, click materials, and I'm in the material section. So I didn't really change because I was already there, but that's the second step. Step number three, go up here to add materials, click on it, and you have all these lovely, lovely options. Don't get overwhelmed. We're just going to go to add, test, or quiz. Click on that. And now we're going to name it. I always like to put the dates in, in my, uh, in my titles, even though there's a separate thing for dates. So I'm going to say Monday, uh, August 22nd, um, opening quiz. Okay. And then I'm going to tell Schoology to actually post a due date of the 22nd. Okay. And this quiz is going to be worth 10 points total. Category, this is going to be an ungraded quiz. You know, it's not my official testing day, and so I'm going to abide by those rules, and I'm going to say it's ungraded because uh, Monday's not my day. At least I think it's not. Anyway, all right, let's create the quiz. Okay, so we've got this, we're in this new window here, but I want to show you where, where we're at. So if you go back and you click on materials, you see now you've created in your materials folder this quiz. So let's click on it. We're back here, and now we actually have to start putting together the quiz. We have to start adding questions. So what do you do? You click on the button. I think this is fourth step. You add the question. So let's add something, um, well, let's add multiple choice, just a slightly harder version of true-false. And we're going to keep this simple. We're not going to look at all the fonts and things you can add in and graphics and videos and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do. But just ask a basic question. So I'm going to ask um, uh, who is in the Blessed Trinity? Good, oops, good theological question. And so I'm going to put my my answer is down. So we're going to say uh, God the Father. Now, this is a true answer. God the Father is one of the three members of the Blessed Trinity. So I go over here and I click correct answer. Next line. God the Son. And if you hit the tab key twice, it moves it over here. And God the Son is also a correct answer. So I hit the, the space bar. You can use your arrow. And I go down here. God the Holy Spirit. Okay. Also part of the correct answer. And notice now I have multiple right answers uh, for this question, and Schoology will um, will be looking for those three answers. Now we could put another choice down here. We're going to say the Virgin Mary, lovely woman, not part of the Blessed Trinity. Let's add a few more answers in here. Um, let's see. Uh, we could do uh, Peter Groom, great guy not part of the Blessed Trinity, so we just leave that box unchecked. Um, and we could do Father Manco. Would like to be, sometimes thinks he is, but actually isn't. So, there's, we've got three right answers, we've got three wrong answers. Now, in the setting that I have right now, if, if a student takes this question and, and misses any one of these three answers, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, if he misses any of those, he gets zero credit for this question. But we have some choices. So I can allow partial credit. So maybe it's the beginning of the semester, we, you know, we've got kids, they've never had theology formally, you know, I want to take it easy on them, this is all new. So I'll give them partial credit. You know, they can get, you know, half points or whatever. Okay. Another great thing to do, and I almost always click this box, is randomize choices. So every student is going to get these six choices in a different order. And that's nice because if, you know, just they happen 
you know, to look at their neighbor's iPad during a quiz or a test. If the choices are scrambled up, harder to cheat and it's hard to be kind of clear what answers they should put down. They really have to be able to read the answers and not just see the checked boxes. So that makes it um, just a little bit harder to cheat. So that's one of the things I, I like to do. And then we have to assign points to this question. Now here's the thing. If you remember, we said this quiz is worth 10 points. Forget about that. Don't worry about how many total points you're giving to this quiz or this test. Points in within a question are only about the relative weight. So this question, we're going to say, uh, I'm going to make this 20 points. You know, it's a little bit harder. They need, uh, they need the right answer. Uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take away partial credit and they need all three. Uh, they need all three of these answers. And I'm going to make this worth a 20 point question. Okay. Now we're about ready to make our question, but there's one more option here, which you don't have to use, but it's actually kind of a neat feature. And once I discovered it, I really liked using it. Once the kids are done with their quiz, you have the option of letting them see their quiz and seeing the, uh, the results of that. And, and so it, it can be like they, they get feedback right away. They learn what the right answers are, where their mistakes were, and, and hopefully, you know, that in, instant feedback on, on their work. Well, we have the option here of showing feedback. So if a student clicks on the correct answer, if they say God the Father is the correct answer, when they're reviewing their quiz at the very end, once they get their grade, I can give them feedback. And I can say this is the uh, first person of the, uh, of the Blessed Trinity. Okay. And then I can tell them that the Son, well, this is the second person. And the Holy Spirit is the third person who is the love between the Father and the Son. So St. St. Thomas talks about the Holy Spirit. Uh, now, if someone puts down the Virgin Mary, we can say that she was very holy, but just a human, oops, just a human and not God. So it allows for some sort of uh, clarification. And, you know, so, and, and you can, I don't have to put down feedback for all of these choices. Um, so I, you know, I could leave Mr. Groom's blank, but if somebody puts down Father Monko, I could say, um, stop sucking up, you know, and if they put that choice down, that's what they'll see when they get their grade back. So, um, you can also give feedback for just the right answer or wrong answers in general. So it's a very versatile thing. I think a great way to add just a little more content to the course. So they're not just looking at their grade, but they, they get some content feedback as well. So now we create our question. All right, who is in the Blessed Trinity? So now let's ask another multiple choice question. Okay, so uh, who was Jesus' mother? Another toughie. Okay, Mary, oops, Mary, and that is the correct answer, so we're going to mark that. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, which was Mary's cousin, but not the mother of Jesus. Um, Let's see, um, Judith, um, very heroic woman in the Bible. I really like her, but not the mother of God. And Hillary Clinton, little late in time to be the uh, mother of God, uh, amongst other things. So we're going to randomize our choices. Um, you could click on allow partial credit, but there's only one right answer. So there's no point. And now we come down to grading. Again, we have to assign points. Now remember the last question. We required three right answers. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So on this question, because there's only, you know, one correct answer, and it should be, most of the kids should know it, this is only going to get uh, seven points, you know. And um, let's see, do I want to do any feedback? Mary's the correct answer, no feedback there. Elizabeth, uh, let's say this was Mary's cousin and Jesus's aunt. Uh, Judith, uh, she existed before Jesus was born, way before. Hillary Clinton, um, she existed too late in time. Okay, so we've got, so the kids can see um, the feedback there. All right, so now you look here, we've got one multiple choice question worth 20 points on the Trinity and one worth seven. 
And the beauty of Schoology is not only will it grade these questions automatically, but if we go back to our course materials page here, we'll see that the entire, uh, the entire opening quiz um, was worth, what did we say, 10 points? If we open our settings here, yeah, we'll edit. So it's 10 points. So what Schoology will do is it'll look, it'll look at what students got right, what they get wrong. It'll calculate a percentage. And then when the kids go to the grade book, they'll get whatever they got, whatever percentage they got out of 10. So maybe they got just the seven point question correct. So they'll, you know, get seven out of 27, whatever percentage that is, they'll get that out of 10. And Schoology does all those calculations, all that weighting, um, it's just that when you're giving weights to particular questions, you're asking, what is this one worth versus this one? My standard approach is true, false are worth two points. Multiple choice like this one are worth three. And then multiple choice that require multiple right answers might be worth four or five points. Fill in the blank might be worth four or five points, and especially if the kids have to supply their own answers. So the easy stuff. It's so worth less, harder stuff is worth more. You could reverse that. You know, you could say, you know, this is really hard material. I want to, I'll, I'll make the easy questions worth a bit more just to, you know, give them a little boost. Whatever you want to do, you can do it within Schoology. Okay.